How are we doing on room? We good. Anything important in here? Uh, a lot of electronics in about 50k. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything important in here? Just chuck it on the roof. Where's the chin? Chin. Day one. What? Chin in his fucking takeout. Team Self for Why, uh, Jordan Young, Christian Soto, myself, Matt Berkey. We are bringing to you guys a vlog. It's certainly become a little trite. Everybody thinks that they can do this. We're arrogant enough to think that we're amongst that group. You know, not only are we in business together as far as uh, our play, we're in business outside of that, uh, bringing the Soul for Why Academy to the, to the community. I just think that we can attribute something to the vlogging community. We're a team of three. We're all on different levels of our career. We're able to kind of divulge the separate paths it takes to get to different ceilings. Up until recently, the poker industry has been a very hush-hush, behind closed doors kind of industry. Nobody really speaks of the handshake deals and the, the business that takes place. I think we're going to bring up topics that a lot of pros have kind of shot away from for fear of you know, alienating themselves, their backers, their debtors, maybe even their peers, I don't know. But we're transparent here, we don't have anything to hide. Uh, I don't think that we're gonna rub anyone the wrong way. If we do, we apologize in advance, but- I don't apologize. I mean, I'm only gonna say it if I mean it. That's fair. I want it to be something like where we show like the blood, sweat, and tears of what it is to be a poker player. Like we're not just talking from like a book. We're talking like the real experiences we have, like the downfalls and like like this is it. Like this is this is my life now. So it's like you're gonna feel like my pain when I'm like busting tournament after tournament this summer. Uh, that, that's ultimately what this is gonna lead up to. We are really gonna be divulgent during this summer and kind of give everybody the ins and outs of, of what it's like to you know, have a crew together that is, is trying their damnedest to accumulate bracelets and win all the money. So I hope you guys enjoy. Half of us in the car have made it. <laughs> uh, I ended up busting late last night. Last level ran queens and aces. And that was about it. Burke, how much do you have? I did it. I got him. I made it through 74. I mean, yesterday was like just pretty easy. You know, plan really came together um, after the last break. Kind of just got in there, mixed it up a little bit, won some hands at showdown. Uh, what are your plans today? Um, I'm going Why to. Why are you coming with me? Well, I mean, I figured, I heard they have cash games here at Commerce. So I actually know they do because I went and sat in one last night in. Got back a little bit of the 10K that I lost yesterday uh, for the tournament buy-in, and I'm gonna try to go ahead and get the rest of it back today there. Perfect. Um, How's it going up there? You say I have like 80K, but I played like what I think to be a really important hand. Yeah. Um, I had, so I had a pretty tough table, I had, four guys to my right to play high rollers. And then a hand happened where this kid, three to my right, don't know who he was. Very clearly good. Yeah. Um, and probably like very good. Opens under the gun one, folds to me in middle position, I have five three clubs. And he's the only guy I can attack. He had like 60 or 70,000 to start the day. And you had like 80 right now? Or? I had like 75. 75? Uh, so like I knew I was gonna be three betting him merge. Yeah. Uh, I threw that five three clubs. He tanks and calls, uh, and it comes queen, 10, 
to Rainbow. I mean, it's back doors all over the place. Yeah, though. yeah, but that's what makes this an important hand. So obviously, like, you know, it's a somewhat neutral board, but I'm still in the lead with initiative and somewhat advantageous to me. I see bet, as I would pretty much my whole range here. He check calls, no shock. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, this is one of those spots where in the past, I think I would just, like, fire any perceived good card from Okay. So, right, so it's like any ace, any king, any jack, I would just fire. Not really considering his range and just, like, applying pressure in a manner where I really can't. And it starts to get bad because uh, the SPR is going to start to shrink, right? So we yeah. had, like, 70 to start the hand, and the pot's already, like, 12. I see that for 65. So now there's, like, 26 in there, and we have, like, 65 behind. Um, so you check calls, turns the ten of clubs, and he checks, and like it's really important for me to understand that this is one of the cards I can two barrel on and sacrifice a little bit of my equity when I'm check raised. Yeah. Right, because he has to have like a ten plus to check raise really, yeah. or uh, a nutted draw that like has me dead. And like, he has King to play really club. good to do it. Yeah, yeah, right. So he he checks. And I tank for a long time, like, deciding if this is one of the barrels or not, and kind of realize, like, yeah, it absolutely is. Follow through, bet 16-5, leaving myself with, like, 50k behind, knowing that, like, I basically am shutting down this bluff or going for max value on, on Club Rivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he, like, tanks for a long time and folks, but I assume to be, like, jacks. Yeah. It could be worse. It could be way worse, yeah. right? You could add nines. You could add ace jack high. Yeah. But it's like he, he could just have king jack. Yeah. He yeah. Just yeah. Doesn't for sure. Know if he should check for it sure. But like he considered for so long that it's just like okay, well he certainly doesn't have a hand like jack deuces. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or well, just I mean, like a straight float. Perfect. Okay. So so raise call uh, about two eighty effective. And the blinds are 1-2, uh, so over 100 things. Okay. I have ace-queen off in the big. It's good. 45 call. I make it 18,000. Four. Ask me how much I have, and then call. You know, he thinks for a little while. It's just like very clearly, these questions, I mean, this is a live type of thing, and it doesn't always mean this, but we, with this kid, I was pretty certain. It's just like, he he has like suited connectors. Yeah, yeah, some, or like a pocket pair. Yeah, sometimes pocket pairs, like whatever. So he flats, flop comes, jack seven, Oh, baby. He's got so many of those. Jack 7-5. Oh, yeah. So Jack 7-5 rainbow. He's got the 8 9 9 10, 10 8. Yeah. I bet uh, 18,000 again. He calls. Turns like an offsuit deuce or 3. Uh, and it may have been like Jack 7-3-5. But either way, once we get to the turn, it's Jack 7-5-3. Badoogie. I bet 45,000. He tanks and calls. And it's like... Uh, he can have a set of sevens, and sure he'd have five six, which beats me now, and I think it's a very reasonable turn call. But he's never bluffing with it on the river because it just shows that, right? Yeah. What? What was the river? So the river is an offsuit four. Uh, oh, man, that's a good card. Yeah. So six eight gets there, but nine eight misses. Nine eight is much more prevalent, right? It's a connector, not a gapper, so it's like he's more likely to have it. Three thousand. I check. I don't want to induce this. I mean, <laughs> so I have one hundred and ninety five thousand. Uh -huh. He bets one fifty. Oh, what what suit was his eight nine? Spades. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you guys up with the right choice? Yeah. It was the wrong choice for food. My stomach hurts. I agree. Man, what a mistake. What we got here, squad? Whoa, 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 what do we got here? I think we should get on the big one. Wow. We tied? All right, let's go again. Rematch. All right, it has begun. I feel like you guys are not doing so well. Fergie hits a fifth, 60 on them. Come on. Oh, almost hits a fifth. Hey, yo, Chin. You ready?
So Antonio and I are a slugfest. Tell me more. We're, well, the blinds are 12.4. No one at our table has 100,000. And him and I have already played two half a million chip pots. <laughs> so the problem is I've been attacking him, but I've been in the blind every time. And I have position on him outside of these two hands. But I keep getting it. So, I had, so he's two to your right? Yeah. Okay. I had ace, king of clubs, three bet him out of the big blind. He folds. Very next hand, I get king, queen off. And I just decide, like, I really want to continue going after him. Yeah. So he raises, I three bet again. He calls this time. Comes uh, 10, 10, 9, two hearts. I have a queen of hearts. I check, he bets, I call. Turn, king of hearts. And I have that royal draw. Oh. I check, he bets, I call. I guess I have a straight flush draw, not a royal draw. Uh, whatever. Might as well be. Yeah. River, uh, brick. No, it's jack. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Not a brick. River <laughs> makes a straight. River makes a straight. <laughs> uh, jack of clubs. Um, I check. He bets 114 into, like, 200. Yeah, so it's like, I feel like I'm really face up here, and the bluff doesn't make any sense. But I don't know him well enough to know if like he's willing to make nonsensical bluffs. Yeah, it just looks like he has ace king. Oh. True. So I end up side calling, and I honestly I could probably fold the turn, um, just because you know his range smashes mine. Even yeah, he's just not going to keep barreling on that card with without right, right, a really right. strong hand. Right. Yeah. If he has king queen himself, he should be checking that card back. King uh, jacks would be like the same. Thing. Yeah. Even like some tens, he should be checking back. So I side call, I lose. He has ace three hearts. Just finished the day. Um, went fine, I guess. I lost 2,000 chips for the day, which is about the equivalent of an ante when we get back tomorrow, I believe. Um, so it was a net zero day. I was able to maintain the chip lead for, I think, four out of the five levels today. But the last level, I kind of ran into a couple annoying spots. Uh, ended up finishing with 485k, I believe, uh, which is still good. Still above average. Still a great spot to be in. In line to win a million dollars. There's 45 people left. The field is incredibly soft. All right, I'm beat. I can't talk anymore. I will update in the morning. Okay. Ryan solo again. Uh, Jordan stayed up into the wee hours of the morning, smashing that 1020 game again. Uh, when I left, he was up around 5,000. I'm not sure what his grand total was, but I'm pretty confident he still booked the win. I'm top 10 in chips still. I have about 60 blinds. There are 43 or 44 people left. We are playing for a million bucks. Um, I feel good. I, uh, I'm ready to just continue to implement the strategy and see how far it can take me. Um, I'll be checking in throughout the day with some updates and I don't know, let's do it. Well, I got put in a spot where I had to call off my tournament life with the old ace jack high. Um, the hand breaks down like this. There was an open under the gun one. Dietrich Fast called from the cutoff. Uh, and we are 420,000 effective, which is 42 big lines. Uh, the lines were 510. So when 25 call, I have ace jack on the button and I squeeze to 100,000. Fold, call. Um, oh, sorry, my apologies. Under the gun one open, under the gun two flatted. Dietrich called, so there was actually a three-way squeeze. Uh, so when fold, call, call, now we're three ways to the flop. And it comes king six six two diamonds. Checks to me. I bet eighty thousand, leaving myself with two hundred and fifty. Folds to Dietrich. He calls. Turn is an offsuit queen, giving me a gut shot. Check check. River is another king, double pairing the board, and Dietrich shoves. Uh, and it was the king of spades, which is relevant. As now the king of diamonds, king of spades are out, as is the queen of clubs. Therefore, if he has king-queen suited, he can only have king-queen of hearts. Uh, so I went in the tank for a very long time. I just kind of thought it through and felt like he has to be at least cognizant of my range here. 
and the fact that I do have some King X's in my range, I have some Queens full, it just seems like pretty haphazard for him to be stuffing here with anything less than King X, which I don't think there are many combinations of after he goes call, call, pre. So ultimately he called the clock on me, I felt like he gave a little away physically, and I, I made the hero call, and he showed up with the 9, 10 of diamonds. Uh, we're now chip leader with 25 left, lines are going up to uh, 612. So let's see how the day ends. We are two levels into the day. Uh, 10 people have busted. We're down to the final eight, so the unofficial final table. I'm last in chips with 19 big blinds. Um, not a great spot to be in, but obviously one double and anything can happen. There's a million dollars up top. This is the best I've played in a long time. I, I actually just folded Ace King after flatting a raise pre-flop, facing two all-ins. Uh, it was just kind of a weird spot where Jesse Martin opened under the gun nine-handed. I flatted under the gun one off of 23 big blinds, and James Caldo shoved for like 18 blinds. Jesse then reshoves, and it's just pretty clear that both their ranges are queens plus, uh, maybe jacks plus, I guess, and then ace queen, ace king. So even though I'm getting the right price with ICM implications uh, and the fact that I think I work a uh, 20 blind stack at this table pretty well, I elected the fold. It was Jesse's queens versus Caldo's ace queen. Queens held, but I would have hit a king on the river, which would give me like 60 blinds now. Uh, for better or worse though, we're still in, so moving on. Maybe you should talk to me like I'm interviewing you. Tell me why your cat section like that. Is, is enough of you in that frame? <laughs> Is it all him? He moved it so that it was 89% him and had like a fucking elbow. <laughs> like this is the Christian Soto show. What, what did you do today, Jen? I pressed refresh on the updates a lot today. You know, saw that you were doing well and then not doing well. Yeah, we're here. It's the end of the day and there are six remaining in the event. Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I bubbled the final table. Jordan's still playing right now, so uh, let's talk a little bit about that. I flopped the nut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On the TV final table bubble, I think I care about fucking Jordan's cash. Actually, I probably do care. He might have enough in play to make me even on the day. Definitely fair. Um, all right, so tell the people what happened. I flopped the nuts. I'm the best player left at the table. I deserve to double up. That's my entitlement for the day. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of millennial entitlement out there and let the people know how that this was supposed to end. I was supposed to double. The kid who's last in chips right now was supposed to punt off his last 600K, which he was primed and ready to do. And we should be six handed now with me being like second or third in chips. Unfortunately, Deoxy was just being Deoxy. And he decided to check raise in a limped pot on queen 10 9 two spades, where I had the old king jack and bet 80,000 into like 110. He check raised to 260, I shoved for 830 ish or so. Uh, and he beat me in there with the ace three of spades. Uh, I thought he played really well all day. I think that was one of the most atrociously awful math plays I've ever witnessed. But he had all the chips, and he knew it was coming. Yeah, so that's pretty unfortunate. You bubbled the TV final table. Obviously, it would have been I'm really... I'm, I'm a little bitter. There will be more final tables. There's also going to be a super high roller. But that final table is a little bit more important. Yeah, it's a long way away. I got, I got at least three WPT events before then. Wrapping up this vlog, I hope you feel better. I don't. All right. You fuck with nuts. What are you going to do? Not at all. That, that's, what, that's what hurts. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what we brought to you today. Uh, please hit that subscribe button below. Um, tune in for future episodes. Hit us up in the comment box. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see changed. Stay tuned for our next episode where we are going to hit the cash streets. We're going to be traveling a little bit for uh, the circuit. The World Series is going to be coming up and the Super High Roller Bowl. We're going to be bringing it all to you guys from the vlog. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. No, we're not doing the piece with the... With the yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. I think um, you can edit it.